Hi, welcome to another new video. Well, in today's video, uh, we'll be talking about a dirty palette. No, actually no. So today I'm going to talk about something that we use together with our color paints. And here is a palette. So I have here, it's just a usual plastic palette. And the issue of using water palette, watercolor palettes um, that is uh, plastic is that you get these um, stains that's really hard to remove. So especially if you use like those phthalo colors you can't remove them unless you use like i think a hand sanitizer or some alcohol based cleaner so you you know you you will be left with this really ugly patch of color uh, under your palette so i came across this uh, glass palette and paint pen from mung yu so mung yo mung yo <laughs> we all know uh, that other than plastic palette you can have ceramic palettes and you can also have glass palettes so what's so special about this glass palette um, this i got from overjoy in singapore and it cost me $49.19 Singapore dollars. So you can get like a normal palette at $2, a plastic palette. Costs you about $2 to $4. So this is definitely more expensive. Like It's like the Rolex of watercolor palettes. It says it's suitable for all types of paint, watercolor, acrylic, and oil, even oil. And it never ever gets stained. And then if you turn to the back, you'll see more information so it says it's a real glass palette it never gets stained so other palette becomes this which is la yeah like what i have same color they're probably using phthalo blue and it says it's perfect because you know acrylic paint just peels off and it's very easy to clean you just put water and just clean it off and it says that the glass um they use the glass used in smartphones and tv in the palette so mm. Well, I mean, Mangyo is a Mangyo is a is a Korean brand. So if if and we know, um, Samsung and LG makes a lot of TV and smartphones. So maybe they I don't know like give them some spare glass and they use it on the palette. This I'm not sure. And it says it's durable, stronger surface than nail and knife, and it's safe. So even if it's broken, there's no fragment. So I'm not tested it. I'm not gonna test it. <laughs> but this is what it says. So other than giving you a glass palette, they also give you pen, um, paint pens, um, and they come. It come with a like they come with magnet at the bottom. It sticks to the palette, so it's supposed to stick to the palette. So this is the pen that they are talking about. Um, it comes with uh, magnets, and then there, there is a space for you to write the name. So let's just open this up. I have already started using this. Um, palette as you can see so this is how it looks okay so this here these are made of plastic and you see these palettes they they these pens so they come in this form so i think it's quite ingenious the way they design it so they're actually two magnets at the bottom um, and this is where you can write the paint the name of the paint and it, i think it holds quite a lot of paint and i think they provided 12 of these pens and they they, they made it such a way that you can actually like link all these up Okay, so you can actually just link them up. Um, and what the beauty of it is that they stick to the glass. So you'd be wondering, um, this is a glass plate, right? Why does the magnet stick to the glass? And I'm going to show you why it sticks to this glass panel. There is a metal plate at the bottom, at the back, see? So it, this is where it sticks, okay? So if you look at the pallet, at the plastic over here, there's actually a, knot, a notch here and over here as well. So you just need to push, push here, and you can lift this, you can lift this up, okay? And then you can actually do the same thing over here as well. I presume you can actually do this uh, when you're cleaning. Let's say, for example, when you use this palette and it gets dirty, you can, when you need to clean it, this is where you can take it out. So this is how it actually is. This is the glass, and there's actually like a, I think it's, it's uh, there's a piece of paper at the back, probably some sort of a foam. And there's two plates, two metal plates, right? So that allows that magnet to stick. You can you can actually remove this all the way, and you can just wash the whole thing, or wipe it down in case you know you get like paints go go into this groove over here. And you can very easily just put it back. So you just slot it back. Just make sure when you slot back that um, the name is in front. So just need to push it down. So just do this. And, and now it's ready to use. Here are two watercolor paints that I have. One is phthalo blue. So this is one of the hardest, harder to clean colors. Hello, uh, cerulean. Okay, and it's from Shamika. This palette here is actually white. So you can actually see the color very well. And just kind of pawns into a little um, area here. So it makes it easier to kind of pick up the color.
let's do a quick clean up so if you just uh, use a wet tissue paper and you just wipe it there you go no staining so the colors the colors are all gone and you can wait work on the next color and in this example i'm actually using acrylic wash from hobine which is actually light acrylic it dries into a flume which i was able to scrape out with a plastic ruler Another reason why I got this glass palette is because I wanted to make my own watercolour. So I had a glass muller and I needed a glass lab. <laughs> and this is, I think, um, other than looking for actual glass lab from, I guess, maybe, uh, I don't know, a hardware store or something. Um, this is, I, I think, the, the, the best because I could actually use it as a palette when I need it. And if I need to use it for watercolour making, um, I can also use it, um, you know, I can also use the same one. Um, and now I have to clean up this mess. I probably will start by uh, just using this just to see how easily cleanable it is. Yeah, I think you could just put a wet tissue and you can just clean it off. See? So easy. Just gonna kind of discuss the pros and cons of it. Firstly, this glass palette is, is heavy, it's big. So it's at least, I think it's about A3 size. So there's no way you can bring it outside. So the only thing you can use, do with it, what you can do with it is to use it as a palette in the studio. And it's kind of heavy as well because it has both glass, a slab, there's a glass slab and actually two pieces of metal in here. So it's heavy. Um, and of course it's bulky because then, you know, imagine after this, you've got to keep it somewhere. You just have to find somewhere to keep such a big, like an A3 size thing. And of course, finally, is the cost because it is so much more expensive than your usual uh, palettes. Um, so potential uh, uh, advantages is then, you know, it makes cleaning so much easier. And if you like to, let's say, also use it for watercolor making, you can just get a Miller and this would be like your glass lab. Um, and it's easy to clean. Uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you like to sim see similar content, please subscribe and I'll, like to s I I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye-bye. Um,